Welcome everyone, my name is Jacob Hess and I'm here to take you from zero to engineer. Welcome ladies and gents to today's quick nugget on what is a wireless access point. Now many of you likely know kind of what a wireless access point is and if you don't you've likely used one before. So let's go ahead and jump in here and talk about what a wireless access point actually is. But first we need to understand what traditional wired networks are like and what we're even talking about here where our wireless access points go. So here we have in this diagram here we have a, a local area network. Your common LAN. This describes the type of network that's at your house. So in this particular diagram we have a host computer that's wired into a hardwire switch that's wired into a router which provides access to the internet. This describes a wired network that will just be just like at your home. So we need to understand that first. Again here we have our host wired into the network and that's your common local area network or LAN. Now what if we had a host that needed to access the network wirelessly? Well then we need a specific type of device called an access point or a wireless AP to provide that wireless network access to the LAN, right? Makes sense. Now, most common Soho routers, small office, home office routers will come with a built-in wireless connectivity. So the device you have, the router at your house, is usually a combo device with a router and a switch and a wireless AP built in. Just to preface that, if that's where your mind's going right now. So we need this wireless AP to provide wireless access to our network. And whenever we do that, whenever we install a wireless AP, we have in effect created a WLAN or a wireless local area network. So we can say that our wireless access points provide access to the network or the LAN wirelessly. And when we do that, it's called a wireless LAN. All right, so what other information should we know about wireless networks and wireless APs? Well, we should know that all wireless stuff and wireless LANs fall under the standard 802.11. That's IEEE 802.11. And surely you've probably uh, read or seen or heard this term before, and we have many different flavors of 802.11. We have A, B, G, N, N, A, C now, right? Now these letters represent different forms of the 802.11 standard, and they represent different speeds, different bandwidths, different data rates, and things like that. We're not going to dive into all those. I just want you to understand what they actually kind of are generally, right? Because if you've seen that before, well now you know what they mean, generally. So what is some other information we need to know? Well commonly out in the field we're going to have different names for our access points. We might call them a WAP or WAP, a WAP for short, right? Which is wireless access point. Or we might just say AP or access point. Or we might just say wireless AP. Hey Joe, go install that wireless AP. Hey Bob, can you tell me where that AP is located? Or hey, give me that WAP over there, or let's go install this WAP. So there's many different ways we'll actually hear them called out in the field. And lastly guys, I want to wrap this up with some different types of wireless access points that you'll see. The first type is just like we have here in this diagram, and that is a standalone wireless access point. So you just have your regular local area network, you take your access point, you plug it into your network, and there, that's a standalone wireless access point. Just a single access point to provide wireless access to the LAN. Creating what? A wireless LAN. All right, what's another type? Another type is controller based. Now this is the type of AP that you're going to see most often in the field in things like enterprise networks or large networks. Why and what do we mean by controller? Well the controller is a server that connects all the wireless access points and allows you to control them through just a single pane of glass through one location. So you can see how that, how that would be extremely handy for a large network that has lots of wireless APs. You can then control all your your access points in the network. Maybe you have hundreds of access points. You can control all of those from a single location or a single server. So controller based APs are designed to connect to that kind of server, right? And then the last type of wireless AP is actually the one I was mentioning earlier. And that's like a router with a built in access point. So the router at your house that provides you with internet access is likely one of these. Most of the time when you go to Walmart or you go to Best Buy or you go to one of these places and buy something like a D-Link router or a Linksys router or what's another one, Netgear, something like that. Usually it's a router that has built in wireless access. And really it's a triple combo device. It'll have a router, a switch, 
and a wireless AP all built in to the same device. All right, ladies and gents, now you should have a great understanding of what wireless access points are. They're huge for network engineers, they're a huge topic in networking, and as a full stack engineer, this is one of the things you're gonna need to know how to configure and set up. As always, this is Jacob Hess, your instructor and mentor. Thank you very much for viewing, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for viewing the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you that if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, be sure to check out our Career Blueprint and Engineer Training Program at www.zerotoengineer.com.